method introduce yourself yes sir sir my name is tane raj singh atko i am from nagpur rajasthan my father is a government teacher about my academic journey i had completed my 10th class from nagpur where i used to be house football team captain after that i had completed my 12th from jaipur where i secured 89.6% in 12th board during board along with studies i also managed to play basketball at district level after that sir in 2021 i had completed my graduation from mdm engineering college jodhpur uh, with a cgp of 8.01 and uh, with a specialization in electrical engineering sir during college time i worked on analog circuit design using optical amplifier uh, i have done my internship on dr in dr jodhpur where i worked on analog circuit design using optical amplifier and we our group has also completed our final project on the condition monitoring on the topic condition monitoring of solar power panels with the help of machine learning application in college i was also active member of our college student event organizing committee group which has organized events like college sports tournament and other cultural fest too sir to refresh myself i like to play games watch anime and i would like to go for walks sir thank you sir okay so you are preparing for which psu sir i am preparing for gs gl authority of india india limited in gl okay okay uh, you have done uh, in the in the final year what, what, what was your btech project uh, sir condition monitoring of solar power panels solar power plants with the application of machine learning sir well, can you explain it little bit yes sir sir in this i have we have used a machine learning algorithm mlp model in which we have used uh, the predefined data sets to predict and uh, to predict or to predict the fault which can possibly occur in the uh, solar power panels faults like uh, electric ground, open circuit fault or ground faults sir okay <laughs> okay what what have you done in the machine learning yes sir sir in machine learning yes sir in machine learning uh, okay since Over. i mentioned yeah mm-hmm. uh, since i mentioned that in machine learning yeah, i have used the machine learning uh, the mlp model the multi layer perceptron model which is a linear okay. uh, linear mm-hmm. uh, linear supervised linear model in which uh, in this we have taken sir uh, seven input and uh, one output output will be the fault which can occur for example we have divided our uh, for example in this machine learning algorithm we i have used uh, 3000 data sets and after in this 3000 set of data sets i have divided it into, into three different sets sir first set was mm-hmm. uh, belongs to the normal set second set was belonging to the uh, ground fault and third was belonging to open circuit faults so i have divided all the data sets into 8 to 2 ratio sir the 8 ratio the ratio the eighth part was used to train the model i have trained the model with the help of the predefined data sets the data sets whose uh, results were already known to us sir and after that the remaining 20% data sets were used to uh, test our model sir so due to uh, by doing this i have we our group have achieved our, our achieved a, uh accuracy of around 85% sir in, in the competing in doing this project sir okay uh, according to you what are the what are the advancement or what are the future of machine learning um, i'm not sure about what features we are talking to we are i'm supposed to answer sir sorry sir why was the machine learning introduced sir uh, machine learning was introduced uh, because as we know that sir day by day the for like uh, we have programming mm-hmm. language sir, we have programming coding language for uh, we use our programmers coders to perform a specific data and we for that we try to teach machine we try to code the machine to work according to that dart mode but uh, it's it's a kind of a difficult task to uh, do it again and again that's why we use the machine learning we get into the machine learning where we try to teach machine itself or teach the software or the application itself to work on their own experience to work on their own uh, past experiences okay no problem okay uh, in this 
in the machine learning, there is two types of learning. One is supervised learning, one is unsupervised learning. What is this? And give the example. What is the popular supervised learning algorithm? And what is the popular unsupervised learning algorithm? Give one one example. Sir, supervised learning algorithm is is where in which the uh, uh, which in which we use the as I mentioned in which we use the predefined data sets the in which the we are already in which we have a learner he will learn on the basis of the past experience whereas in the uh, one of the example as i mentioned is the machine uh, mlp model sir whereas okay in case of the unsupervised machine learning it is a uh, it is a like a hit and trial method we can say that that machine will say, it will use the uh, uh, it will it will predict an answer and on that basis of the prediction uh, it will check the error at the at the output stage if there is any dip, then according to the output it will try to match with the true values sir. so according to the error according to the it will uh, update its results sir it is the case of unsupervised machine learning sir okay well, uh, according to you in the gale uh, how this how your project will enhance or how, how your project will add up to the value or how you can add something if you got selected in the gale yes sir sir since as i mentioned my uh, project was related to the condition monitoring of solar power panels and <laughs> since gale, gale mm -hmm. has a uh, so renewable energy re uh, solar power plants of around 12.12 12 megawatts sir so i can i think that i can use this model very efficiently in that uh, in that power plant sir Yeah, yeah. What what is the product that the gale is, is producing? Uh, sir, uh, the product. If we define the product, which we, sir, the uh, uh, if, uh, sir, are we talking about the business scale, which uh, the business vertical? No, no. Which... The product, the product, like the when you see while extracting. Uh, sir, uh, it has uh, Gale has a five uh, gas plants, which uh, with a capacity of around one four two five kTPa, in which we produce uh, 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 pentane, uh, LPG, naphtha, such kind of such a kind of uh, hydrocarbons, liquid hydrocarbons we produce. Sir. It is a refined unit, right? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, in the process of refinery. Does it follow the fractional distillation process? Uh, I'm not sure about this, sir. Sorry, sir. What is what is fractional distillation? I was actually confused with that to get that only, sir. Fraction. I I am not aware of the fractional displacement, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. In order to extract the nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, or propane. What is the process that we have to involve? What is the temperature of liquid nitrogen? Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, no. Okay. Any upcoming project of the Gale? Uh, one project which I have heard about uh, is that mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Gale is trying to blend hydrogen in the 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 fuels which we are using sir so it mm -hmm. and also it is one of the project which it has to, it has trying to start it is also trying to start so in the, in, it, it is also so going this, into the biogas production sir so okay so how this uh, hydrogen fuel is being extracted or is being produced sorry sir i am not aware of that exactly sir okay Okay, what are your hobbies? Uh, sir, my hobbies are to play games, watch anime, and I would like I like to play walk, sir, walking, sir. You like walking, sir. Okay, any athletics uh, about about the any event that is related with the walking, fast walking marathon that that has recently held in held in India. 
I'm not sure about the India, but uh, recently in Tokyo Olympics we had a 20 kilometer and 50 kilometer race. Mm-hmm. So in that Olympic, uh, what is the uh, what is the major thing that the athletics have to look at uh, to maintain the stamina? To maintain the stamina, sir. Mm, for continuously working. Oh. The major, uh, two of the major problems which the race focus faces are the dehydration and uh, the cramp which they uh, faces. So I would like, I would say that mm-hmm. to maintain stamina, they should continue. Uh, uh, con- they should maintain to continue the take uh, drinks or something. Okay. Uh, which are your favorite subjects? Uh, sir, machine learning. Sir, sorry, I mean uh, electrical machines like transformer. Power system, mm. control system. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the control system, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that all? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah in the control system, uh, there is a term called controllability and observability. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, so does it relate with the process of fractional distillation? About the product that we are getting from the process? Uh, uh, sir, actually, I already mentioned that I'm not aware about this uh, fractional displacement part okay, okay. clearly. Okay. So that's okay. why I cannot relate, I'm not able to relate it with control. Okay. What is Okay, in the valve controlling, while operating the pressure of the in the industry, pressure of the valve, pressure of the gas, we have to maintain the valve. Okay, in the valve, there is a term called PID controller. Ah, yes, sir. What is PID controller and how it actually performs? Oh, sir, uh, first of all, I would like to define what is controller. The controller is one which uh, changes the output, which uh, changes the uh, process, which helps us to get the desired output. So in that process, mm-hmm. sir, the PID controller is used to use, is used to take the advantage of both the PD and the PI controller, so, like uh, as it is used to uh, improve both the st- uh, steady state error, as well as the transient response of the system, sir, to improve the transient response of the system, sir. Mm-hmm. And, uh, sorry, sir, I just, the part was the second question. Just... Anything more about the PID? Um, yes, sir. Uh, it is ever, uh, ever, yeah, about the PID controller. Uh, okay, sir. Sir, uh, PID controller is similar to the uh, league like con- league like con- uh, league like compen- uh, compensator. Uh, it is used to improve the damping ratio and hence to reduce the peak overshoot. Uh, uh, sir. Okay. It is answer. Uh, uh, since uh, in the PID controller, uh, we add two zeros and one post, and due to that, uh, the stability of the system also increases, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Continue. Okay, sir. Thank you. Tane, आपने बोला आपका favorite subject electrical machine भी. Yes, sir. Electrical machines like transformers and also. Okay. Now tell me uh, how we can perform the back to back test on three phase transformer. Oh, yes, sir. Sir, back to back test, also known as Swamban test, it is used to check the uh, check the amount amount of heat, check the temperature rise which will occur in the transformer when it is operated at full load conditions. So it is performed by using two transformers. Uh, after that, the primaries of the two transformers are connected in series. Whereas the secondaries of transformer, uh, sorry, the primaries of the first transformer are connected in parallel, and the se- uh, secondaries of the two transformer are connected connected in series opposition terms. So the primary is directly connected to the uh, supply three phase supply, whereas the secondaries are connected using the auto transformer cell. So the two voltmeters method are used in this. The first mo- voltmeter, which is connected across the primary, will measure the the core losses across the th- two transformer, whereas the secondary voltmeter will measure both copper losses. Sir. Okay. 
but is it used for the same for three phase transformer I, okay. I think yes, sir. I'm not sure. Okay, chali. Uh, now you are going to join Gale. Okay, yes, And Gale is planning to install their uh, hydrogen fuel plant. Yes, sir. There will be the requirement to enhance the uh, electrical infrastructure. Yes, sir. Uh, if uh, now and day the their requirement it is five megawatt total load requirement, and they want uh, additional one megawatt. What component will you uh, install for adding this one megawatt power there? They are taking power from the grid. So if, since they have already, uh... they have five megawatt power requirement right now. Now they need additional one megawatt. So existing infrastructure, may what will change? You will make. Oh, sir. Uh, since uh, the, we can use the application of the uh, the parallel transformer, sir. Since we, uh, whenever we require that, whenever we require to uh, increase the then increase the uh, capability of any transformer, we use the pilot. We connect uh, pilot transformer in with respect to the the existing transformer, sir. Okay. There is something called VCB. VCB. Yes. VCB circuit breaker. Oh, sorry, sir. I have, I'm not sure. Why. Okay. What is the voltage regulation? Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, the voltage regulation can be defined as a rise in the uh, the rise in the receiving end voltage. When the uh, rise in the receiving end voltage with respect to the the full load voltage, when the output when the load voltage is changed from no load to full load, sir. Mathematically, we can write it as an V and no load minus V full load upon V full load, sir. Is there a term of power factor somewhere in this mm -hmm. definition? Mm -hmm. um, Sir, mm -hmm. uh, voltage regulation varies according to the power factor. Okay. What can be the maximum value of voltage regulation for a transformer? Sir, uh, should I mention the which we can, uh, like the maximum voltage regulation in general is allowed up to 5 to 6 percent of the load. But uh, mathematically, we can say that. Uh, Voltage like maximum voltage regulation will be equals to the uh, per unit impedance value, sir. You can get it. Hmm. So that means you have to maintain the per unit impedance within the limit of five percent. I am right. Um, yes, sir. Okay. What will you do if your per unit impedance range is beyond 5%? Uh, sir, I can, uh, I can reduce the impedance value by using the compensation. By uh, series by uh, by uh, placing a uh, series capacitance in series uh, by cap by basic, uh, placing a capacitance series with the impedance uh, transmission line impedance. In series. Yes, sir. Okay.
in wound rotor induction motor at the time of starting if we place the capacitance in place of resistance what will happen wound rotor induction motor in rotor circuit oh sir give me a minute i'm not sure about this okay <clears throat> uh what kind of starter will you suggest if we have the induction motor in our gale plant of 50 hp 50 of uh, uh so i will uh, prefer to use uh, the transformer starter sir photo transformer starting sir Okay. Then you will need an operator to operate the transform induction motor every time. Uh, no, sir. I think uh, in the auto transformer, uh, since we use, we uh, change the voltage which we will providing to the secondary side of the uh, the secondary side to or to the induction motor. Uh, we can use the automatic uh, that. Uh, Uh, the we can use the automatic uh, voltage transformer like since in the auto we जैसे अपन change करते हैं जो transformer की जो winding से और जो voltage present हो रहा है we can use any mechanism to change that voltage uh, 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 automatically sir so in that big case we do not have to use the operator again and again sir or otherwise we can also go for the star data transformer in which the transformation takes place automatically sir okay okay in a torque slip characteristics yes sir okay how can we change the smt by changing the frequency yes sir sir the maximum frequency uh, the mathematical formula for math uh, maximum uh, slip is given equals to r by x And since the reactance is directly proportional to the frequency, so by changing the frequency, uh, the slip will change inversely. Sir, uh, so the uh, maximum slip is inversely proportional to frequency, sir. Okay. So what precaution we have to uh, uh, take during changing frequency? Uh, sir. Uh, we normally prefer to uh, maintain the ratio of voltage to frequency constant so so uh, i by change by changing the volt frequency we could should correspondingly change the voltage too so that the ratio can be maintained constant sir okay chaliye tane ek sir feedback de de ha sir feedback de do sir हाँ सर दे दीजिए तने देखो एक तो वो बैक टू पढ़ लेना थ्री फेज ट्रांसफार्मर का ठीक है ठीक है सर क्योंकि थ्री फेज ट्रांसफार्मर का बैक टू बैक ट्रांसफॉर्म वो करके डेल्टा वाइंडिंग में कनेक्ट करते हैं प्राइमरी को सेकेंडरी को एल एल वाइंडिंग को डेल्टा में कनेक्ट करते हैं और एच को ओपन डेल्टा में कनेक्ट करके सप्लाई देते हैं ठीक है जो मैंने बताया उसे वो सिंगल पीस का था कम्प्यूज हो गया कुछ या मैंने गलत ही बता दिया आपने सिंगल फेज का बता दिया मैंने थ्री फेज का ही पूछा था आपसे ठीक है सॉरी क्या बोले सर मैंने आपसे थ्री फेज का पूछा था आपने सिंगल फेज का बताया बाद में कंफर्म भी करा आपने की ठीक है ठीक है हो गए थे आप और ही एडिशनल <laughs> जितने भी पी एस यू जा रहे हो आप नॉन प्योर टेक्निकल वाले नॉन प्योर इलेक्ट्रिकल का तो नहीं है वहाँ पर ठीक है ना तो वहां पे एडिशनल लोड आपका आ रहा है तो उसकी प्लानिंग के लिए कौन कौन से इक्विपमेंट्स लगते हैं ठीक है ना वो आपको पता होना चाहिए ठीक है ना 
विस्की भी लगेगा ट्रांसफार्मर लगेगा ठीक है उसके दोनों साइड आइसोलेटर लगेंगे सीटी पीटी लगेंगे मेजरिंग सिस्टम लगेगा प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम चेंज करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि लोड इनहेंस हो गया तो ओवरऑल प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम आपको अकॉर्डिंग टू लोड चेंज करना पड़ेगा ये सब चीजें आपको आइडिया होना चाहिए तो कंफ्यूज हो गया था सर मेरे को लगा बस मेजर जो पोर्शन होगा वो बताना तो बाकी तो आइसोलेटर प्रोटेक्शन तो हमेशा होते ही है सब सॉरी सर जो भी था ठीक है वो सब चीजें आपको वो होना चाहिए ठीक है और ये जो एक और प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन है कि कौन सी मोटर के लिए कौन सा स्टार्टर हम यूज करते हैं ठीक है अप टू फाइव एच पी डीओएल यूज करते हैं फाइव टू ट्वेंटी एच पी या फिफ्टी एच पी तक स्टार डेल्टा यूज करते हैं स्टार डेल्टा से फिफ्टी एच पी से हंड्रेड एच पी तक ऑटो ट्रांसफार्मर यूज करते हैं और हंड्रेड एच पी बियड यूज करते हैं वी बाई एफ ठीक है ना वी बाई एफ स्टार्टर ठीक है थोड़ा सा घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है मुस्कुराना भी चाहिए आंसर करते हुए ठीक है ना ऐसा हमेशा सीरियस फेस लेके नहीं करना ठीक है यस सर और ठीक है ऑल द बेस्ट सर और कोई रिव्यू एक दो सर टेक्निकल रिव्यूज हो गया अदरवाइज जैसे बोलने का तरीका या राठौर यस सर देखो देखो ये क्या है कि जो जहां तुम गेल में जा रहे हो उसके बारे में एक बार पूरा पढ़ लो जो जितने भी ये ऑयल एक्सट्रैक्टिंग या ये एक्सट्रैक्टिंग कंपनियां होती हैं वहां पर कॉमन क्वेश्चन होता है इसके बारे में अच्छे से देख लेना और कंट्रोल सिस्टम को और इनके प्रोसेस को एक बार एक बार तुम गूगल कर लेना की ये कंट्रोलेबिलिटी ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी ये बॉल किस तरह से कंट्रोल करते हैं पीआईडी कंट्रोल होता क्या है वहां पे जो लगे होते हैं एलिटिकल काम ही वही होता है तो जो इंटरव्यू लेने आएंगे वो बस यही देखते हैं मतलब दे आर नॉट सो मच इन द डेप्थ ऑफ द टेक्निकल पीएसयू का बता रहे हैं तो वो प्रोसेस पूछेंगे वहां पे क्या प्रोसेस होता है वो जो देखेंगे वही पूछेंगे गेटिंग अ पॉइंट काम करो मतलब ये जो जैसे वॉल वगैरह हो गए इनमें करिकुलम में थे नहीं तो अब इसलिए इनको बारे में कुछ ज्यादा नॉलेज है भी नहीं जैसे आपने फ्रैक्शनल डिस्प्लेसमेंट पूछा या फिर वो नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन का पूछा या हाइड्रोजन ब्लेंडिंग का पूछा ये सब मेरे कोर्स में है नहीं और ना मैंने तो नहीं नहीं के बारे में गेल में प्रोडक्ट ये डेप होते हैं ना तो इनके बारे में एक बार पढ़ो ठीक है ओके राठौर